What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am That Props Girl. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Obviously, I look a little bit different today. Uh, I'm doing some office work at home. But whilst I'm on the computer, I thought that I would show you guys how I made some mock newspapers or fake newspapers, not fake news, but fake newspapers for a show that I had recently, um, which was Chess the Musical. And a lot of people have asked how I actually made the newspapers and how I put them together. Sometimes for shows, people like to print them out and just get them off Google Images. And whilst you can do that, sometimes they can come out pixelated or sometimes you need something that's a little bit more show related because sometimes in a script, it'll reference a particular newspaper and you'll need to replicate that. So I'm I'm going to show you how I did this and I used canva.com to do this. So if you don't have a Canva account, it's free to sign up and what we're doing today you can do with the free account or if you have a Canva Pro account, of course, you would probably already know how to use Canva. So I'm going to try and replicate that today and show you guys a little screencast of what I did. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future uploads. And with all that said and done, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Alrighty, so first things first, now we've got this lovely blank canvas here. I'm going to go into elements over here and get a square. And I'm going to just change the color of that square first to yellow and then I'm going to go up here to new color and drag that to more of an off-white sort of beigey gray. Yeah, and I'm just going to blow that out um, till it fills the entire canvas. There we go. Cool. Now I'm then going to go stay in elements and get a line. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to shrink it a tad and then rotate it 90 degrees and then pop it in the center. There we go. On that center line. And that's just so we have a clear defined side, uh, front side and back side. Uh, and I'm just going to click this little lock here and I'm going to lock that in place as well. Just so if we click anywhere, they're not going to move. All right. So now basically what we're going to do, we're just going to jump back in here. So clearly they're slightly different colors, but that doesn't really matter. The first thing I'm going to do is put in the title, um, of the newspaper and we'll do the front page first and then we'll go and fill in the back page. So to get this logo, I just went to Google Images and got a PNG of the Times logo, which is down here. Uh, and a PNG just means it has a clear background. Um, and then I'm going to shrink that down like that. And you have to remember that this is actually like, it may look small here, but it's actually quite a lot. Like this is A2, it's actually quite a large scale. And then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to make sure that that's kind of centered. I'm going to highlight, oh. I'm going to go to elements, get another line, make it tiny. And bring the dimensions of that down and down again and just pop it underneath the title there like so and I'm going to copy paste and make that a double line and if you think that's not close enough together you can just use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make it straighter like that perfect all right for this show it was for chess the musical so I needed a picture of chess pieces there and now of course you can go to google images and pill for things but if you you can do this in the free canva account I have a paid account so some of the photos will be in the paid pro version but you can just click on the photos tab and type in chess for example and it'll tell you like most of these where it says pro, it means that you've got to pay for those photos. Um, so if you want to just go to Google images, you can, but let's just pick a random one. Let's pick, uh, 
Let's pick that one, which I honestly think is the same one that I used on the other side. I'm gonna just pull that in so it's a square. Make that a bit smaller. And pop that on the side there, like so. Yeah, it's very similar, the photo there. Okay, now what I haven't done, I actually, I'm gonna make that go out a bit further. Okay, so we want them to all be in line like that and we should have a gap there so there's a bit of a safety zone. Now we're ready to put in our text, but we don't want our columns to be going straight down like this because most newspapers don't do that. You can have a col like long columns here, but then you should really break up the other areas because if you go here, you see we have this one story here, but then we have another story here. And then this is like a page continuous story. And then we have a little column page here. So I'm going to put in my title, which I forgot to do here. So I actually need to make space for that. And I need to put this in black and white. So I'm going to put, go up here to filter and pop it on street. And I like put it on street, not just grayscale, because grayscale just kind of looks a bit, you know, grayscale. Um, but street's actually kind of nice and you can change the intensity uh, there or you can go to adjust up here and change like the brightness to make it more or less intense depending on what you want okay so I'm gonna go down to text and pop in at a heading and I'm gonna change this text to when it loads Beva new Bebas new I don't know how to pronounce it but I'm gonna change it to that one and type in world chess Championships and make that bold. Okay, there we go. I'm going to shrink that down. You could also change the text size um, as well. Well, chess championships. I'm just going to drop that down a little bit. Okay, beautiful. That's lovely. That stands out. That will look quite. Actually, I'm going to have to drop the text a little bit. Not that much. Sure that's in line. Yeah. Perfect. Now, to put in our text, type get one of these body of text. We'll make that our paragraph. So, what I normally do to fill the newspaper up, um, these ones were a little bit different because they were going up on a screen, so they had to be read. So I couldn't just put some random title and random pictures in there because people were going to see them on a big screen. And I'll insert a clip in here because they did look fantastic, but it was a lot of pressure on me to go, oh my gosh, people might be able to read them. So it needs to make sense, especially the titles. So what you can do is be sneaky like I did. And I went to Google and I just typed in like the rules of chess uh, and you can just copy and paste those and pop them into little paragraphs. And if anyone like scans across it, you'll, they'll be seeing the words chess and they'll be seeing like the words check and all that sort of stuff that kind of relate to that topic. So for this one, I wrote a fictional opening paragraph um, and all I'm gonna do is copy and paste that from the other one. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So I'm gonna jump back in here. All right, so there's one story done. Now, what you can do, and I did this on some other ones, if you've got a side story here, you can do a vertical line down like that uh, to break it up as well as horizontal lines. Now, I did it on this one, so I'm not going to do it again, but you can certainly do that if you want to have vertical lines. This is actually a fictional article that I wrote about the goings on in the White House. It has nothing to do with everyday life. It's completely fictional, um, which of course you can do. But since I had to do so many newspapers, I did not feel like writing a whole bunch of stories. So now we're going to go and put in another line. 
Now you can change the color of these lines as well if you don't want it to be so harsh to maybe a gray or something like that. Depending on the era that your newspaper is supposed to be set in will depend on the kind of stories that you put in it. So for me, this was set in the 1980s and so there were all the questions going on at the time about uh, the royal wedding and what was happening with Charles and Diana uh, and whether they were going to get engaged and all that sort of stuff. So I had things in here such as stories about the royal family to just kind of let us have get some context in there. And it was the same with putting Margaret Thatcher in there. So if you have a specific era that your show is set in, have a look just at some brief history. You don't have to have a whole stack of stuff in there, but just have a look and see what kind of events were going on at the time. And if you can reference any of them in your newspaper, that will just help you to have a more accurate sort of representation um, of that era. Speaking of stories in the French one for example this was the French president at the time and then I looked up events that were happening in France in 1980 and it was the end of this type of car being made in France so that was a big deal uh, and also there were things about like the Berlin Wall and all these sorts of things and so I tried to look up like events specific to the country but it wasn't always possible and also this German header i couldn't get a png version so i actually just changed i like it and you can see that that's exactly like a, a picture of the new the header there but i just then tried to change the the color of the square and the background to try and match it as best i could now please ignore this bottom bit um i think i've actually just squished it all up <laughs> there but um as you can see on the other one it's that gap's not there so my size is just a little bit off but the principle of the matter is still the same and now we're going to do the exact same thing for the back page and I'm just going to copy it from this other one. So also what was happening in 1980 was um, Ronald Reagan um, getting elected, but I chose to set this kind of in the beginning of the year um, as I didn't get given a entire context for the show. So I just sort of made it up. Sometimes you're allowed to do that, um, other times it's quite specific. So just to summarize, use a PNG to create your title, put a line in the center. Once you're done and made both your signs, you can delete that line or unlock it and then delete that line so that when you fold, it's not sitting there. You then go through, put in your titles, add your graphic, add in lines, make the columns look like they're in line most newspapers have between five to eight columns and then use horizontal and vertical lines to break up all your stories and you can put advertisements in there too if your newspaper is not going to be on display like mine was you don't have to be as precise with what it actually is what's actually said in the small fine print but your title should at least uh, be legible and make sure that they're fairly um relevant they're essentially pretty much very similar stories across all of the newspapers that have just had the um, articles run through Google Translate and then copied back into the different format for the different newspapers. Once they were done, I just downloaded them as PDFs and had them printed in A2 size. And then I had to lay them out flat because they came in a roll, so they were along my dining table. And then I brushed them with some watercolor paint in just a gray to make it look a bit more weathered, folded them in half, and they were good to go. And in the inside, I just stuck normal newspapers. 
Well, there you go. That's how I made my newspapers and they looked really great on the screen as well as in the hands of the actors. So if you need to make a newspaper for a show, you know how. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell next to subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future uploads and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.